What's going on you beautiful people? It's Jeb. I'm coming to you with today's 5 and 5. It's August 27th and I got five stories to keep you informed, in tune, and educated about what's going on in today's world. It's back to school week for students, so happy Monday to you all. Enjoy your first week. We all have five days until Labor Day, so I know you guys are counting down. We're gonna keep it short, sweet, and to the point. And don't forget, Tuesday, your favorite beverage is back. The pumpkin spice latte is coming back. To kick things off is a highlight from the weekend where YouTubers Logan Paul and KSI participated in their first ever boxing match against one another. Now over the past month there's been a lot of trash talk leading up to the event with both doing a lot of press, but on Saturday night everything came to a head, 20,000 people showed up, over 780,000 people streamed the match, and they brought in over 8 million dollars. Logan Paul and KSI have both been experts in building their own personal brands, and the event Saturday night was just another example how about how these two have been able to monetize their personal personalities and build a viral audience around what they're doing. Both YouTubers have been creating content online for years and have amassed millions of subscribers on YouTube. Both YouTubers made great strides in developing their personal brand last night and were able to monetize the event through ticket sales and merch. It'll be interesting to see if other YouTubers follow suit in doing so by hosting in-person events. Jake Paul and his brother Logan Paul have both gone on tour performing songs that they've created and interacting with fans as another way to drive revenue and awareness to their personal brands. The fight went for six rounds and ended in a draw and they've already scheduled the rematch for February. To kick off our business news is a follow-up on our story about Tesla's founder Elon Musk potentially taking the company private after they've already gone public. Now Friday night in a blog post, Elon Musk announced that he would not be taking Tesla private and he's got a lot of feedback from shareholders against the idea of them going private and would like to focus on making the company profitable and scaling up Model 3 production. In other news, a started by the name of Bungalow just launched publicly with $14 million in VC funding. Now Bungalow exists to help connect renters with other renters and landlords with tenants for their properties. The startup has really honed in on the 26 to 27 age demographic and has 20% of their properties in New York City. They currently have over 750 renters and an 82% renewal rate on their platform. Bungalow's goal is to scale through the end of the year and be in 12 markets by the beginning of 2019. To wrap up our business news, we're taking the spotlight to China where China's biggest ride hailing company, Diddy's Hitch, has suspended its car service after a woman was raped and killed Friday night by her driver. Diddy reports that the driver had a clean record and had all the proper documentation, but the day before the event on Thursday, there had been a complaint filed about the driver by another woman who says that the driver had taken her to a remote location and when she had gotten out of the vehicle, had followed her for some distance. Now, Hitch is one of the biggest ride hailing apps in the world by terms of trips taken. They've racked up over a billion trips in the past three years alone. And as of now, Diddy has removed two executives suspended their ride hailing service and has announced a complete revamp of their compliance regulations by September 1st. In place of our international spotlight today, our thoughts are with John McCain's family and the victims of the Jacksonville, Florida shooting yesterday. Over the past few months, John McCain has been about with brain cancer and over the weekend, his family announced that he'd passed away after spending his last few months on his family's ranch in Arizona and wrapping up his most recent book. Lawmakers and former presidents on both sides of the aisle are remembering John McCain as a courageous and outspoken politician who gave a lot to help reform American politics. Sorry to end on such a sad note, guys, but I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I hope you had a wonderful Monday. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about today's stories, and I'll see you later.